holidays and a good Merry New Year. And we've been working on the ideal ugly Christmas sweater. And as you can see, we're still prototyping. Yeah, mine's a little too small and this is a little too big. Right now, what you can do is pre-order. November 4th to November 8th is our pre-order window. And as we make these, we will post more progress pics because it will be high quality, heavy knit. It won't look ghetto as as this. Nope. But we're trying our best, okay? Get it right now. Secure your place before we like, sorry, we don't have any more sweaters for you. I met the villains and Gaston followed around with me like for the oh, part like half the day. He's, oh, he's Yeah, hot. Gaston. Yeah, you know the yeah. from Beauty and the Beast? He's like the cocky guy. But yeah. Oh, I thought you said Governor Gaston. Oh. <laughs> Gaston. Like, bro, he gotta go. What you mean? <laughs> man? He ain't, he ain't nowhere near hot. He gotta go both he's, a, he's a character <laughs> at Disneyland. <laughs>back to a very special episode of Careful Boys. I am here today with Colleen and we got Rakia over there. Hey. What's up Rakia? Hi, with Subin and on this side we have old friends of mine Aaron and Jess. Woo! Ladies in the house. All right since we got three versus ladies. three today we're gonna do a bunch of like guys versus girls topics. Guys we're um, going down. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't meant to be competitive but that would make it pretty cool. Yeah but first let's let's do some a little bit of catching up with Subin. How's uh, being a dad? Tiring, man. That's not that thousand yard stare. <laughs> uh, nothing too much, man. Just same old, same old. Baby, you know, tired. You gotta wake up every day, feed him. <laughs> Cute, very adorable. <laughs> same story. Same story. <laughs> it sounds like it's getting more fun, though. Yep. It's cool. I'm not gonna lie. You know what it is? It's like even though like it's tiring and everything, and you hold him, yeah. you're just like so soft. You know, you chew on his ears and it's all good. <laughs> chew on his ears? He's not even mad anymore. That's your trick to getting him to stop crying? Like, no. a, like a puppy? Like you chew on the ear? You chew on puppy? No, you know when you like chew on his kid's ears, they're just like... Bow, 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 and they're just like... And they're just adorable. <laughs> they're just adorable. You make any bone that's gangster soft. When you oh, just hold cool. the baby. It don't matter. So that's the trick. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It's cute. Any tricks to, if it's crying, like, uncontrollably, is there tricks that you've learned? Yeah, you just... You <laughs> tricks you've learned. <laughs> you just put him in his, you put him on the bed, on his stomach, because it's nicer on the stomach, and you close the door and walk away. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't do that. You do not do that. Close the door and walk away. <laughs> that was very, invo very involved seven. father. Yeah. I'm very involved. I'm focused on his training. <laughs> But well done, man. You're the nice only man. one in here with kids, cool. and you're also probably, I think, the youngest out of all of us, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Or maybe, Ricky, how old are you? I'm 29. I turned 30 in a couple months. He's older. <laughs> <laughs> the math that it took, the, the processing for your modem. <laughs> yeah, you're older. You're older. Damn. You want kids now, Ricky? I do want kids, but I know I'm like nowhere near ready for it. So what, what is ready? What is ready for kids? Like financially, like I, I know there's no way no, I could. There's no. <laughs> he he says no. You convinced me. I'll start next week. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. You can't say that's the thing, right? Me yeah. and Sasha was like that too. We're like, let's be financially ready and do 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 whoop de whoop. Like mm. you're never gonna be financially ready. All right. You could be. <laughs> you could be a hundred k and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna treat your kid to like a hundred k lifestyle. And by the time the hundred k doesn't come back around, it's not even gonna be a hundred k lifestyle no more. It just, it's just whatever you're at. It would be nice to have a certain <laughs> amount of money for security, yeah. but I do know a lot of people who end up having kids who've found a big enough reason why, which is their kids, to make more money. Yeah, so that's the thing, like, for some reason you're not pulling, like, the numbers you want, mm. but when you do have a kid, because you have so much time with him, you have so much time to think by yourself, so you're just gonna be focusing on how to build and what what's next, and pushing your shit, you know what I mean? Okay. But there's no financial like ready, ready. But obviously, yeah, you should be ready financially. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> there's no ready, but you should be ready. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't ready, but, yeah. but it fucking worked out. That's the crazy thing, no matter work, what. Right? It makes, it just happens. Yeah. Life is just like, oh, you got a kid, let me bless you. That's what happens, I feel like. If, I, if I'm keeping it real, I'm still not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill out. Or this it? fucking guy. Look at look at a lot of this guy. Huh? <laughs> Keep it real. Yeah. But yeah, nah, I'm gonna wait a little bit. But yeah, you're right. No, nah, I do. Right. I do want kids. But no, nah, if you like your free time, don't do it. 
when you're free. You're talking him out of it, basically, is what you're doing. <laughs> what's um, what's your what's your life been like since you moved here from Arizona? Because that's not too long ago you got here. Yeah, I moved here from Arizona about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, the first year was pretty slow for me. Like it was really me just trying to get my foot in the door, and it wasn't until I started working at Barbell, uh, beginning of year two, where I started really meeting people, cool. and like uh, you know, so I started collaborating. So. Yeah, right now it's just me just kind of like establishing, establishing myself into like this space, you know, working, helping out with social media and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but it's been cool. I've met a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot thanks to you too, because you, you bring me along. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, so I really appreciate that. But yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. Like it's the, uh, the last year I felt like my life has like started moving forward because there was like a couple years where like I wasn't meeting people. I wasn't doing yeah. anything with my life. So it's nice to finally have like the ball rolling on, on that. Uh, cause I didn't really have like the typical college experience stuff like that meeting people like my friends did. So yeah. like right now I feel like I'm kind of like in my college experience in my own You're way. in your brat era? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like going to events and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Go ahead. Yeah. What, tell, tell what us, tell us what that means, yeah. ladies. Oh, we're, yeah. we're too old for that. The brat, 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 summer, brat summer is like, it's, it's below. That, it's that, uh, <laughs> it's, below it's, like, it's yeah. that carpenter girl. What's we're, her name? So, no, it's not. Brat summer is that. Karen Carpenter. No. Karen Carpenter. No, it's, it's Casey. Sabrina Carpenter and it's the brat summer. She's the Charlie XCX. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Brad Summers, Charlie X, yeah. I know, I feel so far away from See, that age-wise. I still don't age, understand it's age group. Style. It's like, it's like the younger. I think it's, we called brats for a different reason. Brats. I don't know, I like to think it's fall. Brat. <laughs> it's called Halloween summer now. I don't really, I didn't really celebrate brat summer, I don't think. You're already a brat, yeah. kind of. Ref I can't remember exactly, but did both of you guys move to California from different states? Yeah. Yeah, Washington. Yeah, I'm from Michigan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And do you feel like year one, living in LA was good or bad? It's good, I mean, my whole yeah. family was back there. I'm like, you guys know you can leave, right? Like, you don't have to stay here. It's it's cold all the time. You pay p premium pricing for premium weather out here. And then you can always just go back. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. No, I was always moving here, so I was just gotta, they had a lot of time to prepare. What about like the people that you met? Did you ever, like, you know the stereotype is that when you move to LA, everybody's fake, everybody's, like, like, did that, did that happen? Yeah, like you meet yeah, but... him, but I feel like you can like weed through the bullshit. Yeah. You know, he just takes you a second. Did you guys date the, your first year here in LA? Yeah. I moved out here with somebody. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. You brought a fucking Michigan guy here? How dare you? We it's drove gross. out in my it's 98 Isuzu Rodeo. I didn't have power steering. There was know. rust hole through the floor. I, I was like, get, get me in. out of Michigan. Um, <laughs> yeah, I drove cross country. <laughs> lived with Carrie in a studio apartment with him. It obviously did not work out. We broke up after like a couple of months. Like, oh, there's, there's months. I got him a job at Saddle Ranch though, so we all worked at Saddle Ranch. So Saddle Ranch is the- That's how we met. Together. Yeah. That's the yeah. bar restaurant where, yeah. that's how I first initially like was hanging out with them because I lived really close to it. You trauma bond for life. Yeah, we trauma bond. Yeah. <laughs> but what was, wait, so what happened to that guy? He just like oh, went back? Doing, he's doing like acting stuff, yeah. I think. Oh, he's still here. He's yeah, still around. yeah. I got him a cat once because I really wanted another cat. So it's like the only part I really miss about him. You got him a cat? Yeah. To cope? No, because I With wanted another one. And then he was like, <laughs> Consolation. Hey, so, this working out, but here. <laughs> yeah, free cat with every breakup. Oh, I would love, that's actually nice. You should get on that. Oh, I would like that. That'd be a great way to get like, to get cats homes. It's like if you want to break up with someone, you have to give them. It's like cultural. <laughs> you have to go to the pound. Yeah, I've always wanted culture. So. You're like, we need to see other people. Here's a cat. Yeah. If you leave, you have to leave the cat in your spot. <laughs> that's like the rule. No, that's really, that's cool that uh, that you brought a guy here and left them here. Yeah, I was like, eh. Um, why wait? Why did you break up anyway? Too much. Oh, uh, he was cheating on me. <laughs> oh my god! But That's not a deal it was though. it was like really nerdy <laughs> shit though. Like I know I was like uh, I was just kind of over it at that point. You know when you're like not upset, you're just like uh, and I didn't break up with him right away. I like waited until I was mad, and then I was just like you can leave. Like I know that you cheated on me. He's like oh I would never. I was like I saw your text. Like you were doing some weird ass. Like he was saying he was Wolverine and some girl was Jean Grey, and I was like pick better characters. For First of all, and yeah, uh, be original. He was like driving my car. He was literally a scrub. So, what? Yeah. You know, were you dressing up in the costumes for it? 
I don't know about that, um, but wait. I'll tell you, no, you're over it. Cheating with, with a girl in Michigan? No, he met a girl at Saddle Ridge, the place that got him a job. <laughs> He's already moving fast, god <laughs> damn. Yeah, you know, yeah, I was like, well, you don't have a car, what are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. This, but, how did you find out? I saw it on his phone, I went through his phone. <laughs> <laughs> he had, you know when the Android, you know when the Android had like the design to oh, unlock? What? You, you figured saw, it out? He had like dirty hands or something and you could see like the You could see the Star of David? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh. <laughs> it's like the S symbol you draw when you're a kid. And I'm like, ah. Oh my god, but damn. Yeah, and it's like, oh okay, apparently I wasn't really into him. I like, didn't cry. What's it like going through a dude's phone? What other stuff did you find besides that? In that time, it wasn't that interesting. Uh, um, he didn't have a good a lot, lot of gigabytes. <laughs> his, his plan was not great. It was like Boost Mobile or something. Um, it only took her two minutes to go through the whole thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> so might, well, might as well throw this away. But. So it was in his texts, like yeah, what? it was in his texts. What, what did the text specifically say? It was like. It was just like weird, like kind of sexting, being like, oh yeah, you're just like Wolverine, you big strong. I was like, what the fuck is this nerdy ass shit? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then she, he was like, yeah, Jean Grey, you're so like, it's strong. And I was like, this is her name. Jean Grey? So no. they were like Marvel text role play flirting? I feel bad even saying it's Marvel. It's, like a it's weird just like thing to get into. It's like two really? separate entities. It's like Marvel. Yeah. It's like Marvel and Harry Potter. Be <laughs> just better. do do better. Be better. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, oh. he hit me he owed me a lot of money, so I <laughs> I got it though. Oh, that's wow. nice. Yeah. Oh, I always get. Yeah. When did he pay? Down. When did he pay you back? Um. So I started talking to this other guy, and I told him what happened. I was like, "Will you just come with me to go and pick it up?" And it's like this guy's kind of a little bitch anyway. So I ended up making him do a payment plan with me. I charged him interest. I made like an amortization charge. Interest too? <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. My mom taught me well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I got it, uh, and yeah, I have no idea what he's doing, I don't really care, but... <laughs> the, the payments are done. Yeah, exactly, he's like, check that off. Continue Damn, the conversation. Cool. Oh, yeah. Why do you owe you money? Because he d didn't have a job for a while, he cried when I got a job. He cried when you got a job? In front of my mom, it was really oh. embarrassing. Wait, he cried when you got a job? He's like, I thought I'm gonna drop first, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna... I wish you would have gotten a job first. <laughs> Funny reaction. Yeah. You're yeah, making Michigan really dudes weird. look bad right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, there was more to it than that too. It wasn't just that. That was the thing that made me end it. I found out that he never broke up with the girl that he was dating before me. And he said that he was going, oh my God. Wow, okay. <laughs> he, this was crazy. <laughs> she hit me up on Facebook and she's like, hey, just so you know, like we never broke up. <laughs> and I was like, uh, what, uh, what are you talking about? And she's like, sent me like, sc like screenshots and like pictures <laughs> of like notes. And I was like, you know what, the math's mathin'. And he said that he was going to Vegas to like help winterize his parents' attic for raccoons. I was like, oh, I need, okay. I need lies that are that elaborate. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> unbelievable. Winterize lies. Attic. That's so <laughs> believable. You're never gonna hear that. He's like, yeah, the service is weird up there. I was like, all right, what's going on? I don't really, like, that's fine, I'm doing my own thing anyway. And turns out he went to see her in like uh, Washington or something and yeah, it was just like going Damn. and hanging out with her. Yeah. Winterized attic. I'm stuck on that. It's so cool. Yeah, I know. I'm putting that one in the it's bank. So cool. <laughs> I might, I might need to use that one. But not in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> he falsified documents, like an acceptance letter to Michigan State Law School, so his parents thought he was going to law school. He falsified. Fals falsified oh, wow. like an accept acceptance letter like to Michigan State. Oh, that's like effort. Yeah. So, oh, so his family was like he was a congratulating him over fake shit because they didn't. He didn't want to deal with them. He's like he's like Leo from, from Catch Me If You Can. I was just thinking. What a cool guy. <laughs> it's very interesting. Very elaborate. Yeah. That's the low budget film. Yeah, wow. Budget. Yeah. <laughs> Whole life was a lie. Yeah. yeah. Sounds exhausting. Yeah, he hit, exhausting. he hit me up. Like, it might be less energy to really winterize something. 
Right? I'm, I'm like, still thinking the flannel. <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, it's supposed to be a really flannel. extreme raccoon. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, an, he's actor. an actor. Right? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's method. Just, that's yeah. all. Yeah, he's, oh, so not he's like basically just performing. Like, <laughs> for what role? Yeah, he's uh-huh. basically just getting ready for his like main role. Yeah, he much. hit, he hit me up like, like he hit me up a little bit ago, like a, like probably a year ago, and was like, yeah, I'd love to catch up. And I was like, I, what's your life like? So I was thinking about it, and then I was like, actually, like I'm don't really have time. <laughs> and then so I just stopped. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And just ended up just stopped responding to him entirely. But he's like, how's your mom? I was like, why? She doesn't like you. <laughs> he's like, do you still have all my comic books? I was like, yeah, yes. <laughs> why? Why do you have them? They're my mom's ad. <laughs> that's what he was trying to get at. Yep. He, he really wants his comic He just that's wants the comics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was like, that's tax, but you can have your CDs back. <laughs> like, Yeah, they're obsolete. Yeah, I'll keep Puddle of Mud, but. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, your what was your first dating experience in LA when you moved here? Oh, um, I think I met him at a Red Robin party <laughs> during Halloween. Red Robin so- sounds I, wor- I worked at Red Robin. Oh, worked at Red Robin. I thought that's like code for like a no no like no not even code party. for anything. I thought, I thought yeah I thought it was an artist <laughs> like a burger party. No, I thought it was like a rapper I'd never heard of. Or yeah, something. I think it was like it was like a friends. Like coworker party. Oh, cool! And then he also worked at Red Robin, or just yeah, like he a... also worked at Red Robin. I think he was just finishing, but it's pretty much like across the room. And then yeah, he Sweet did the guy. same thing where yeah, until like he wasn't. Oh, he did the same Wolverine thing. Yeah, but <laughs> but more Ew. like more. But, I mean, probably she could have been a Wolverine. I don't know. She was blonde and sweet. Oh, you caught him the same, almost the same way. Well, it was more like I like just kind of bluntly asked, and I was like, oh. "You should probably break up with me if you want to cheat." Dang. And then it was like a month later, and I was like, "Heard." Oh no! Heard. Wait, you got you caught him with reverse psychology? Is that what you did? I don't know if I really caught him. I feel like it was. Like he was also very fun and lame. Like he he was living in a spot. It wasn't really good. His roommate was kind of shoo, like out there. It was a Jew. Imagine that yeah, like, deal breaker. Oh it. God, no, <laughs> no. Actually, he was Jewish, but <laughs> like, actually he was Jewish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that meant nothing to me whatsoever. I didn't care. But no, he his roommate was weird. So he needed a place to live. He was trying to live with friends. It like fell through, so me being nice, I was in a house and I was like, you can come and move in oh, here. You, oh, you and then he moved in and within like a month, I was like, this is not. So a month of dating and then he's living No, 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 you. it was like eight months of like oh, okay. dating. That's cool. Yeah, and then yeah. it was like, he moved in for a month and it just was too small of a spot and too many people in like a house. Oh. And then yeah, and then he was starting to hang out with like his best friend very often. And I was like, it was a guy? It was a girl. Oh, he had a girl yeah, best but friend. Like, I'm not. I'm not really a, a super jealous person unless you give me a reason to be. What was, what because was I have so side? many guy friends. Um, well, it was more like he would come home and his like whole energy would be different, or it would like be he like, just had sex kind of energy. Yeah, but like I didn't think he ever really <laughs> like, did. Ooh, it just was that like tired. feeling of it. Where I was like, oh, like, oh, you want to laugh with her more than you want to laugh with me? This Aww. just doesn't sound fun. Yeah. yeah. When you said that, like. Oh, like if you want to end things, end things. Did he just break up with you, or it was like, like a, it was like a week later, and he was, and he like came home from like some game. <laughs> Wait, like a week, like on the dot. I don't know. <laughs> he was like putting like, his like, calendar. All I gotta That's say is, I up. remember going to the Jonas Brothers concert the day before. He broke up with Aww. me, and I went to Disneyland. <laughs> and I was, I was you? sad at Disneyland. Me? Yeah, because my, my me, mom was calling me and she was like, he knew you had all these plans. He couldn't wait till after Disneyland. I was like, mom, that's what you're concerned about with? I just got There's broken up with. And, and you're asking about up. Disneyland. What's the best ride to cry on in Disneyland? Oh, yeah, that's a good Space one. Mountain. Because they just go, oh. oh, your tears. They wipe your tears. tears. They wipe your tears away. They go on the people behind yeah. you. Or, or Splash Mountain because then you're wet. And you're, yeah. and you're like, it's not it's great. The it's the waterfall. Oh. And it's really I thought bad. you were going to say Buzz Lightyear's freaking. <laughs> <laughs> they fuck you, man. <laughs> no, Aaron's ears would be the drawing one, the animation scene. Oh, I love that. You hate that drawing I, one. Aaron's so bad no, at drawing. No, I hate that. Every I time. I am so bad at it, and she loves it so much. She's so bad. And she, we just, I, I 
love it. I, I love it too. I go it's because great. she loves it, and I know uh, it makes I make her. Have you guys been to that no. in California Adventure? It's so bad. It, you, it's like a I'm drawing so, it's class. A class right? Yeah, and yes. you, everyone in the class learns to draw a Disney character, yeah, it's like and really right easy. away, yeah, it's so <laughs> easy. You end up like, wow, I really made Scrooge yeah, McDuck. Okay, but yours is yours is wow. Mine is like the fuck did I just yeah. do? Yeah, <laughs> but we had like, Disney passes, so we would go like yeah, every bef- couple months. Before COVID, we had a rule: like if you could do groceries and you were not working, you weren't on site, you could go to Disneyland. And so it was so easy to go to Disneyland. Every time I was like, Erin, this is the only thing I want to do over here. It's really important to me <laughs> just because class, yeah. she was so bad at it. No, and she would be fun. I she know. She would like, take yeah, it, it we would put it on our fridge because like my, our fridge is chaotic. <laughs> I'd put, put them yeah, next to it. It would be like, you know, like I'd what your mom used to, to do? Yeah. yeah. So I'd be like, Erin, this one's mine. This is the best thing is is trying not to laugh when you see other kids <laughs> fucking up and they just, it looks like shit and you look. It's so hard not to laugh. Have you seen those Instagram videos where it's it's a guy in those drawing classes, but he's actually a really good artist, but he draws a completely different figurine. Oh, Oh, but it's like a really good one. But it's it's like a it's like a comedy figurine or something. Like he he makes a whole thing out of it, and like so he videotapes the class and he like pans down to his, and it's like two minions kissing or something. Like (laughs) that's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that makes me sad that you went to Disneyland while crying after a breakup. Honestly, it was probably. The best thing I could have done was to go to Disneyland like after a break. Like fast therapy, yeah, like fast. Yeah, as soon as I walked in the park, I was like, I don't give a shit. And then I met Gaston. That doesn't hurt you when they go, any single riders? <laughs> no, not at all. Any oh, couples? No, no. <laughs> no, because I like I met the villains and Gaston followed around with me like for the park oh, like half the day. He's, oh, he's yeah, hot. Gaston. Yeah, you know the yeah. get from Beauty and the Beast. He's like the cocky guy, but like his character. Like he's a, he's he's, a, he's the one with Bell. Yeah. Oh, I think he said Governor Gaston. Oh. <laughs> Governor Gaston. He was like, Aaron's oh, date. She was like, it was okay, because Gaston. Bro, he gotta go. What you mean? <laughs> man, he ain't, he ain't nowhere near hot. He gotta go both he's, a, he's a character <laughs> at Disneyland. <laughs> I'm like, who is this new character? Like, this, isn't this bitch should be working? Why is he Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Damn. Are you thinking of Gavin Newsom? No, oh, that's no, no, Newsom no. is the mayor. Gaston is oh. the... Uh, it might be vice versa, actually. Yeah. I got it. Got yeah. it. Got DA. It. He's the yeah, DA. Yeah, he's he's the guy that's, he's the guy that's so letting funny. everybody out. Yeah. He's there. Disneyland. <laughs> 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 Gascon. Wait, he has to be in character. <laughs> 